Following my previous AI text animation, I was encouraged to break down my workflow process of how to make a plain text video animation inside of Comfy UI by using the QR code control net model. The workflow was originally created by Stable Art Diffusion and allows for modification. So if you stick around to the end, I have made this workflow a lot easier and there is a lot you can learn if you visit the webpage here as well. To get started, I used After Effects to make the basic plain text animation. I used the simple scaling animation of the individual letters and nothing too complex. If you don't have After Effects, you can use any other 2D application for your animation. Just make sure it is exported with white text on a black background. Once I was happy with the animation, I exported this as a video file. So for my different text affirmations, these were all my final plain animation videos from After Effects following the same process. And this will be used as the input video in Comfy UI. So from here, I'll go into Comfy UI and load the workflow. If you come across any red boxes once you load the workflow, go down to the manager. In here, click install missing nodes. Any missing nodes will show up here and then you can click to install it. Once you do that, you can close and refresh Comfy once it's all completed. I modified the workflow into four separate groups. Starting from the left, we have the checkpoint and prompt group nodes, are the animate div group nodes, the control net group nodes, and also I included an upscale group. To begin, I'll zoom in to the load video node, click choose video to upload. I'll select to load any of the text animations here from the various renders. So to confirm the duration of any video, you can use the page right here. I'll place in the video details, which is 25 frames per second with a video length of 10 seconds long. So that will give us 250 frames as the duration. So back in Comfy UI, I'll go ahead to use 180 frames so we can have a quick preview. For the height and the width, I used a square 1x1 one one ratio, which was 768 by 768 Next, I'll zoom out and scroll down to the checkpoint and prompt group. For the low checkpoint node, you can get the Hello Young 25D checkpoint model which I used. Download the model, place it in the directory of Comfy UI under Models, Checkpoint Folder. Back to Comfy UI, I have set the Clip Skip node to negative 2. For the LoRa node, I went ahead to use the More Details LoRa for some extra details. You can also download and place it in Comfy UI under your Models folder, go to the LoRa folder and save this here. For the positive prompt, I would advise to use words that are related to each other for the theme of the animation. There's a free tool here on this page which I used. So you can simply type in any word and this generates related multiple words to your original word. Then you can copy and paste few of the words from here into Comfy UI as I did with my positive note. Inside a negative node, place words that you do not want to appear in the final animation. So let's zoom out, I'll scroll up to the next group node, which is the Animate Div group. For the Animate Loader node, I use the model MMSD underscore V15 V2, but you can go ahead to try out any other animation model for Animate Div. You can download the model here on the page and place it into the Comfy UI directory under the right directory. To include a VAE node, I went for the model KLF8 anime and I'm using this because the checkpoint instructions from Hello Young 25 Day recommends it since I'm using that as the main checkpoint model. Moving to the next group is the control net nodes. The black and white contrast will help influence the plain text animation. So to do this, download the QR code monster model for control net. Place it into Comfy UI under your models and go to control net folder. And you can save this here. Go back, refresh the Comfy UI page and choose the QR code model from the list. Next, also remember to lower the strength of the QR code influence, so I'll use the original default settings from the workflow. Zoom out here to the case sampler and I'm using 20 steps. The CFG is 7.5. For the sampler name and the scheduler, you can go ahead to experiment to see what gives you the best results. Scrolling to the top right, the original workflow did not include an upscale node, so I have included an upscale group to the workflow and I used the upscale resolution of 1080 by 1080 following the 1 by 1 aspect ratio. I realized this didn't just add extra resolution but made the text more visible to read. I'll zoom out from here, we have all the models and the right input settings. And I'll use QPrompt for us to see the final results.
So there we have it and this looks good, this looks amazing. And since I'm using words related to lighting and tender, we have this 2D looking effects from the prompt. So for the previous full video, I used different prompt themes for each affirmation's plain text video. The only thing I did was to change the animation style for each and every text affirmation. If you experience your words are not too visible, use regular or medium font size for more clarity of the animation. So even though these results are interesting and very stunning, you can still use the QR code in multiple ways to achieve complex animation results which are demonstrated in this video on the screen now.